Don't be down. I'm looking but I'm nowhere to be found They search and search but I'm gone with a win I feel like a winner in this life passing It hurts my heart, makes me feel so bad To see my little brothers and sisters suffer Out of the scorching heat, can't get food for eat Mr. Wicked Man down to push this no feather Oh you sleep at night, can't so superpower Mama got a skill, ain't get no tool. Papa go no school, the system want to take him fearful. Misleading the local youth with them guns and drugs. Driving them out of sanity with their materiality. See the house. My father won't sleep here. My brother won't sleep here. My father won't sleep here. My mother won't sleep here. Me, which place I will sleep? Me, I no get room. Me, I no get anything. So me I, me I leave a crowd and come back. Me I don't know which place I go sleep. Me I never know. Me I need to burn. Then get money, look my parents, my fathers, my family all. As you can see the flag down there, that is where I used to sleep, where we head into, where you can see Ghana flag hanging. That is where, when I came, I usually sleep. Buildings, camps, and containers littering the world. It might not take many shots to kill most enemies, but you have precious few bullets to spare most of the time. Boss World changes up and adds a lot of combat encounters as well. It adds traditional zombies that are much more human than Fallout's classic ghouls. The wildlife is more intrusive, and it's rare that enemies will give you a chance to talk things out before they just start shooting. 
Even Fallout 4's more wacky enemies, like the hermit crabs using delivery vans as shells, are taken to new heights. This isn't just another wild animal to deal with, it's basically a mini boss. The density and variety of enemies added to the game really opens up the world to feel much more inhabited and dangerous. And in addition to that, nighttime is actually quite dark and hard to navigate. You really can't see without a flashlight. The sounds of zombies and wild animals infects you with a true sense of dread and paranoia. It's genuinely scary wandering the wasteland when the sun goes down and that can be hard to achieve in a lot of games. Vanilla Fallout 4 never even came close to this. Now if you're new to Fallout 4, I don't think I'd recommend starting off with a mod pack like Lost World. It certainly won't pull Hold your hand as you yeah. learn the game and it'll be it's easy to get stuck in a long. bad autosave where you have no chance of surviving an encounter. But if you've played tons and tons of Fallout 4 already, Lost World tweaks and adds enough to make it fresh once again, and certainly worth playing even eight years later. Familiar enemy encounters will have new rogue elements to them, and just the fact that you can't loot or craft your way into a glut of resources adds a new layer of complexity that's pretty fitting. Now of course modders can only do so much. The mods for Fallout 4 feel more like filters or DLC rather than their own games. And really that is generally the nature of modding. It can massively extend and reimagine an existing existing game, but creating an entirely new game that feels like a direct sequel or its own thing can be much harder to do with mod tools. As much as I wish Fallout 4 could be something like, say, Stalker 2, no amount of mods are going to make that happen. Nonetheless, mods have made entire franchises way more popular.